Good morning, gang. How are we going? Monday morning, Brad Shepard here, coming at you live from the Create PT Wealth headquarters up here in Brisbane. And as you can see behind me, our, uh, our Create PT Wealth office, the headquarters looks on to the uh, football field, rugby league, oval, greenery, amazing place to do business from. Um, so, um, and especially in these <laughs> Brisbane winters where we've just been having these uh, incredible days. So, Wherever you are tuning in uh, around the country, I want to wish you a, a really exciting start to your week and, um, and just to let you soak in a little bit of that beautiful view and the sunshine and so forth for today. But what I want to speak about today is this, this whole idea of um, when it's time for you to, to actually interrupt somebody's day. And what I mean by that is if you're watching this clip, I'm going to assume that each and every one of you play some sort of role where you're going to be getting on the phones, um, you're going to be making some type of introductory call, you're going to be making some type of prospecting call, hey Brett Scott, how are you buddy? Um, or you're going to be uh, possibly making some sort of call to a joint alliance uh, partner or someone that you might seek to possibly do business with or something along those lines. Now, uh, in today's clip, what I'm going to do is I just want to give you the first part because I just if, if you can get this part nailed, in my opinion, it's going to make a huge difference to the type of results and the type of relationship that you can build with people. So let's think about the, the typical scenario that occurs in, a, in an introductory call or a prospecting call or something like that. Uh, phone usually rings um, and Kate Kendall, if you're watching this, this one's for you. Bring, 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 person answers the phone and uh, hello, and then usually it typically goes a bit like this. The lead-in might be, oh, hi, how are you going? It's Brad calling here from Create PT Wealth. Yep, pause, yeah, uh, or whatever the uh, hello or whatever the response on the other end of the line is. And then often it leads into something a bit like this. Um, how's, uh, how's the day going? Uh, or are you having a good day? Or, you know, what you up to at the moment, you know? Um, and you can agree or disagree with that. But at that point in time, what, what we generally find happens is that you're sort of scratching around at this moment where it's like, oh, I'm trying to sort of, I realize I've called you and I realize I've interrupted your day. And what I'm attempting to do at that point in time is to very quickly try to do this thing where I'm gonna build a bit of rapport with you and hopefully by suggesting to you that, um, hopefully suggesting to you that hey, are you having a good day? You're going to sort of liven up and go, hey, yeah, it's a brilliant day and I'm sort of really open to a conversation with you at the moment. Um, unfortunately, what you may have experienced is quite often the opposite can occur. So it can be, um, gee, hi, how you going? It's Brad here from Create PT Wealth. You're having a good day. And straight away, you might have experienced, experienced this where you can sort of feel the, um, the defense pop in straight away and it's like, uh, yeah, um, or something like that. Now, if you want to try this this week, right, try it on, and I, I often do this uh, because I, I find it fascinating, try it when you're not making a prospecting call, when you're not making a sales call or not making an introductory call, <clears throat> when you're just calling someone that uh, possibly you're doing business with, let's say there might be someone from, you know, you need to call someone to, to make an, a, a stock order or you might need to call the bank or one of those places where you're not trying to call them to sell them something, you're trying to call to actually speak to somebody. And number one, what I find is that when I call them up in that, um, you know, in that situation, I go, hey, how are you going? It's Brad Shepard here. Yeah, how's your day going? And, I, and you listen to the response and it's sort of like, even though they're in a service-based business where they're, you know, you're calling them for a reason, um, you often get this tone which more or less suggests that, um, yeah, um, great. And it's almost like, what do you want? You know, get to the point. Um, because no doubt many people in those businesses have had <clears throat> prospecting callers, cold callers, all that sort of stuff call them. And so therefore it can raise the, uh, the level of uh, defense. And it's almost like, hey, I, I, who are you? Uh, I'm not really interested in hearing from you. And, you know, and so when, when I actually get to the point of what I'm, I'm calling about, get past the having a good day bit, um, I hear the person on the other end, it's almost like they breathe a bit of a sigh of relief. It's like, oh, okay, this person is actually not trying to sell me anything. 
So let's go back to your conversation and how we can start this conversation up. So what we're going to suggest in this call and what I want you to try this week is don't uh, call up with the, um, hi, how you going? Are you having a great day? What you up to sort of strategy? Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to get um, straight to it because you have interrupted that person's day, okay? There's no if, buts, or maybes about that. That's the reality of it. And in, in today's uh, busy world, people can, um, you know, can feel uh, very precious with their time and their energy. So what I want you to do is you can introduce yourself, absolutely no problem with that, or even better, if you have their name, use their name. There's no better way to make a, some sort of connection with somebody uh, than if you've got their name, all right? So, hi, Jenny, how you going? It's Brad here from Create PT Wealth. Finish, end of, end of part, end of the start. <clears throat> then what I'm gonna suggest is you lead in <clears throat> with words of the effect of to acknowledge the fact that you've interrupted their day. I realize I'm interrupting your day. Boom, straight away, it's like, you know, they can agree with you. It's almost like, hey, we're on the, the same level now, all right? <clears throat> you feel like I've interrupted your day. I'm acknowledging the fact that I've interrupted your day. Next part could be something like this. <clears throat> so I will be brief, all right? So again, what you're letting them know is that I'm not gonna ask for a lot of your time here, we want to get straight to it. We want to see if there's some sort of connection there. <clears throat> and instead of us dancing around the hole, you're having a good day, what you're up to, yeah, gee, the weather's nice here in Brisbane, all the rest of it. No. G'day, it's Brad here from Create PT. Well, g'day, Jenny, it's Brad here from Create PT Wealth. I've realized um, I'm interrupting your day. Don't worry, I'll be brief. Boom, then you can say the next bit. All right, that first bit, very small, very catchy, very punchy, Okay. Now, there's a lot more to this sequence, but I'm not gonna go into the second part today because what I wanna do is I wanna share that with you throughout this week. What I wanna do is I wanna give you these separate pieces of this conversation to try and make it more effective for you. But if you could just change this one bit, just, just modify it, play around with it, you know, adapt it to the situation, give it a go, and I'd love to hear the response of it because we've been using this method, we've been using this strategy, and what we find is, number one, people are potentially more open and more receptive to uh, some level of conversation. People love the fact that we're straight to the point um, and we just get a gauge very quickly on whether we think it's worthwhile us taking this conversation any further because I don't want to waste any of my time, I don't want to waste any of your time if we realise that there's probably not much reason for us to be having this conversation. So instead of us dancing around the, the topic and so forth, let's get straight to the point and let's quickly find out on whether we think it's, it's worthwhile us conversing any further. So just to recap, g'day Jenny, how are you going? It's Brad here from Create PT Wealth. Look, I realize I've called up and interrupted your day. Don't worry, I'll be brief. End of, end of part A. And at that point in time, it enables you the ability to move into the second stage. There you go, give it a go. Have a look at what you, method you're using at the moment. And again, like I said, I'm gonna assume by watching this that you are doing some level of calling. And if you're not calling, you know, you, you're potentially missing out. There's no doubt about it is that you're gonna miss out on 100% of the ones that you don't make an effort for, you don't pick up the phone for, you don't call for. Um, and so, you know, someone said this to me the other day, make you know, 50 calls a day and it could potentially change your day um, or your week or your month. Make 100 calls a day and it could potentially change your life. Um, you know, thinking about it from that perspective. And if you're concerned about calling and all that, hey, we, we, we need a whole nother conversation there where we need to um, discuss the reasons why and what, what might be the roadblocks and the resistance. Because I can guarantee you, uh, people that uh, do get on the phones and do build these personal relationships are the ones that get the most success. People will buy from those that they know, they like, and they trust. And the best way that you can do that is to build some level of personal connection with these people so that they know who you are, they like you, and they trust you. There you go, there's your strategy for the week. I want you to go out there and give this, to give this thing a crack. Uh, let us know how it goes. I'll be curious to hear, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now.